Hey everyone, today um, we're gonna get this thing that I saw yesterday that looked good on Nick Akata's channel. And then I'm gonna like tell you about this like, not really like crazy story, but like this like rabbit hole that I fell down while researching random things last night on the internet. And I might come off as like a little crazy, but like, I don't know what it is. I just like need to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we're at Little Caesars. I can count on one hand how many times I've had Little Caesars in my life. Um, I've just always opted to get other stuff like Pizza Hut or Domino's. Like I just, it's just something like I never had. So um, I was watching Nakakata yesterday cause he popped up in my recommended and he had this pizza and it has a crust, but it's a pretzel. And I'm like, oh, I love anything pretzel. So, want to get something pretzel. And I'm here at Little Caesars to get what he was eating. It looked so good. It's really fattening. Like, I think that this entire pizza is... 2,100 calories so divided by 8. That's like... 250 260 something a slice so i'm only gonna have like one or two slices um because like that's that's like god awful um anyway yeah so we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna tell you about this like crazy like story i've been uh like exposed to it like really like it's stupid it's so stupid but like it's it's like iconic to me i don't know why like the dumbest stuff interests me <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go get this pizza okay i'm back i got the pizza i don't know why but their food is so cheap like this pizza was 6.99 why is little caesar's cheap You see, it has like the pretzel crust with like the sea salt sprinkles. Oh. Um. Oh, maybe I should have asked for like a plate and napkins. I didn't think so. I mean, I have some napkins in here, but. Okay, anyway. So when I saw Nick Akato eating this, he got it with uh, cheese sauce. I got it with marinara just because. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could have gotten. Oh, gosh. It's the type of pizza, like, when you rip it apart, it, it tears in the middle and it doesn't come out like a nice, discreet slice. It's like tearing all over the place. Ugh. Seriously. Isn't, isn't life hard sometimes? I mean, really. Can you believe this? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna bite into the pretzel part. Oh, that's good. Oh my God. Very salty, very salty. I don't know if you could see it, but some of it got right here and it like burned me alive. Wow, this is really good. Okay, so like the, the crust, extremely salty, you know, as you can see per the salt. It's good, wow. It's just very fattening. It's like, I could never eat this again, I mean. Wow. I wonder why their food is so cheap. You know? Like, what's that about? Six ninety nine for a pizza? That's like unheard of nowadays.
you know what? And I've said this in, in, in like a reaction vlog, I think, before. There was this place in college called Hungry Howie's. Granted, this was like West Coast, but um, they did a large pizza for five dollars. Mm. I do remember that. But I mean, that was six years ago. You know, everything has gotten so much more expensive in the world. Okay. So I recommend this pretzel pizza from Little Caesars. Um. It's very salty at the crust part, but that doesn't bother me. Um, it's just, you know, fat AF. Like, I'm only going to have, like, one or two. Probably two. Okay, so anyway, this is the rabbit hole I fell down yesterday. And it's going to sound weird. And it's going to sound like, why do you care? I don't know. I don't know why I care so much. So, I've... I've told some of you all that I've been watching a lot of Survivor lately, right? Early seasons, like early 2000s Survivor, okay? And when those early seasons aired, I was like six, seven, like early 2000s. Like I think the first, th I think the first season of Survivor came out in 2000. Okay, so in 2003, they were airing season six, which was called Survivor the Amazon. Nowadays, like, they just go to, like, tropical locations and film on a beach. But, like, in the early, early seasons of Survivor, they would move all over the world. They did, like, Survivor Australian Outback, Survivor Africa, Survivor the, uh, the Amazon. So, this season, season six, which aired in 2003, it was called the Amazon. So they, they competed in the Amazon jungle or whatever. So there was this girl on that season named Jenna. <laughs> and Jenna was 20 years old when she was competing on this show. She was a sophomore at a college nearby here. Very close by here. And she won the season of Survivor. She won season six of Survivor when she was like 20. I think that she's the youngest person ever to win Survivor. Or at least like the youngest woman. Like the youngest woman to ever win Survivor. She was like 19 or 20 when she won this thing. So after she won Survivor in 2003, she ended up getting together with and marrying the guy from season three who won his name was ethan he won survivor africa and i think when they met he was like 28 and she was like 21 or 22 i don't know early 20s whatever and he was late 20s so they ended up getting together and they got married okay and then, like, they were, like, together, like, throughout all of the early 2000s. Like, they were, like, I don't know, like, celebrities, kind of. Not really, but, like, reality TV celebrities in the early 2000s. And they did, like, The Amazing Race. And they did, like, other shows together. And, like, they, I don't know. So then the husband, Ethan, gets cancer, right? And he goes into, like, treatment and everything. Beats it. Um... I think then again in 2011, he gets it again. I don't know if it was a, the same kind of cancer, but he gets a he gets cancer again. And um, he beats it again, a second time. And then they get a divorce in 2013. And she was like by his side, allegedly. Like from what I read online, she was like by his side. She was like very like supportive and like, you know, was there for him and everything. And then they got a divorce in 2013 and it's not online that it was amicable you know I, I didn't get too much tea on like why they divorced or anything maybe it was just like them being together for 10 years and being in the limelight and like all the attention and uh all of the drama with like cancer and everything maybe it just like had taken such a toll on them that 
they just weren't good for each other anymore. I don't know. There's probably more information out there, but like, I haven't found it yet. So in 2018, or no, tw sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. 2016, they, they got divorced in 2013. In 2016, the husband, Ethan, gets remarried to this pretty blonde girl. There's like pictures of them and everything online. And um, two years after that, Jenna, the original, she overdosed on heroin, I think it was. And she was um, stopped at a stop sign literally right down the road. Like where for where I am right now, like literally right down the road. She was passed out at, a st at this stop sign right down the road from me right now. And they had to call an ambulance and call the police and everything. And I drive past this stop sign every day. Like when I discovered this, I was like. So they called the police. Um, they showed up and everything. And then when they revived her with Narcan, they, uh, she like bit them or something. She like bit, she like bit a cop or like bit the EMT or something. She was like in like a frothing rage. So I think what happened was she won Survivor. She married the winner of season three. She went through 10 years of marriage with him all while he was dealing with cancer. They get a divorce in 2013. He meets someone else, marries someone else. She falls into a drug problem and then passes out near the stop sign at the McDonald's, which is like right down the road from me. And then five years later, I find out about the story. So she like lives very close to me. <laughs> this is where it gets weird. <coughs> okay. So she lives very close to me. I don't know what happened, but she, I forget what she got her degree in originally, but then in the, in like 2011 or 2012, she graduated from Columbia University, which is an Ivy League school in New York City. She graduated from Columbia University <coughs> with a master's in counseling or something. Like, I don't know, like to be like a therapist or something. So she got that degree. And now she's working as a veterinarian tech at a vet hospital right down the road from me. Like, it's just weird. It's weird because like early, like I, I like randomly like became infatuated with early seasons of Survivor. This woman won. And then there's all this drama about her. Like she passed out of a stop sign, like literally right down the road from me five years ago and now she works at a vet hospital nearby and it's like I kind of want to be friends you know like I feel like that would be iconic like I want I want like her side of the story and like I liked her on the show too I mean granted that was 20 years ago I'm sure she's a completely different person now but I just feel like she's lived such an interesting life and it's like, I want to be her friend. And she lives so close by. And before you call me creepy for knowing where she works, if you just Google this woman's name, she did an interview. And there's a, like a website article. And she said, I'm a vet tech now. I work at blank hospital. So she literally put it out there where she works and everything. And I was able to look it up. It's public information. So don't come for me. So yeah, like that's where I am right now. I don't really have like a point to this story. I just like want to say my piece. <laughs> so yeah, she she lives like literally 10 minutes from me. And like, I, I don't know, like I just want to be her friend or like I want to get a picture with her or something. Like, I, I just feel like that's iconic. <laughs> Is this weird? I feel like I'm being so weird. I don't know. It's just interesting. Like, could you imagine, like, if you, if you, like, 
like had like a newfound interest in something and then you find out like the person that's involved with it lives like down the street from you. <laughs> I mean, granted, this is 20 year old reality TV drama from Survivor in 2003, but I don't know, it matters to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's all I have to say for now. <laughs> Let me know if I'm weird, bye.